"'Twas the week before Christmas, and at a nearby home, people had gathered to eat, visit, and share a special poem. Treats were stocked on the table with care, with hopes that everyone would soon eat their share. People were mingling, filled with holiday cheer, telling stories and tales of their wonderful year. Some in their sweaters and others in scarves looked upon the food spread unwilling to starve. When out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter. People stopped talking and moved to see what was the matter. Away to the window they flew in a flash, pulling back the curtains and throwing up the sash. The colored lights on the house, all shiny and bright, started going out strand by strand, left to right. And what to their wandering eyes did appear but a gingerbread man with a look they did fear. With a small gang of hooligans all lively and quick, the crowd quickly realized things were gonna get sick. The small cookie advanced, his gang did the same. As they trudged the snow, he called them by name. Come brute cake and mallow, you angry holiday treats. Come peanut riddle and ribbonator, pick up your feet. To the door of the house and into the hall, let's revenge our fallen foodstuffs and hack away all. No door shall stop us, no stair is too high. These party goers are cannibals, so I think they should die. And so up to the house front the food forces flew. Like a wave of tasty evil came Ninjabred and his crew. And then in an instant, as the party goers gasped, the silhouette of a candy cane hit the house like a blast. As they looked out in wonder, there came a great sound. A candy cane figure burst upon a snowy mound. He was red and white striped from his head to his toes, and stood defiantly between the party goers and their foes. His look was determined. He stared ninja bread down. Though the gang was large, Karate Kane did not frown. His eyes may have twinkled, but his expression was scary. The determination of Karate Kane made the hooligans all wary. His arm struck out, and Ninja Bread's mouth made an O. Oh! Karate Kane moved like lightning, landing blow after blow. Ninja Bread Man soon collapsed into a tasty cookie heap. So Karate Kane moved on to Brute Cake with a leap. The brute battled well until struck in the belly, which dislodged some fruit bits and little chunks of jelly. The fight continued on. The faces in the windows showed shock. Karate Kane went after Mango Mallow and quickly cleaned his clock. With a wink of his eye and a nod of his head, Karate Kane gave the party goers no reason to dread. The battle moved forward. Karate made short work of the Ribbonator, who had the nerve to call him a jerk. Peanut Riddle was last and got a punch in the nose. Karate Kane left him in the garden, tied up with a hose. The battle was over. The party goers all cheered. Karate Kane cleaned up the scene so they'd have nothing to fear. They heard him exclaim as he dragged the hooligans out of sight, Merry Christmas to all. Now have a great night.